On the next Farm Her, we're at an urban farm in Charleston, South Carolina, and we're talking compost with Carmen Catron. So Carmen, tell me a little, I, I, I know what composting is in a general sense, right? You can put all of your waste stuff in here and it creates this really good soil that you can use elsewhere, but tell me more. Well, one of the big things that you want to do is you want to decompose most of your natural materials. And you can usually do it with the help of little worms. Oh, look at them go. So, one of the big things is worms, mealybugs, these are all great decomposers. This is what we rely on mostly. But we also have our big compost box where I take all of the vegetable waste that we use here at the farm, along with all of our dried leaves, newspaper, anything carbonic, and we put it all together so that the bacteria can start to heat up and break it down back into really great soil. One um, of the cool things that you can do is you can do it in any type of a box, a big box like this, or even a small box, should I pan over? Anything. Or a small box just like one of those. Yeah. Um, and you can even do it in a five gallon bucket. I've heard you can even put them underneath your kitchen sink. Yes. Yeah. My dad used to do that. It used to creep out all of my friends. You know yeah. what? If that's the easiest way to make it work, I say go do it, right? Exactly. The major thing that you want to think is that you need 50-50 browns and greens. All right? So greens would be anything that's super nitrogenous or wet. All of your vegetable waste, any of your fresh lawn clippings, coffee grounds, things like that count as green. And then you want half of it to also be browns or carbon materials like newspaper, cardboard, dry leaves and um, dry grass clippings, even some types of hay. And you want to mix it together so that it's either layered in between or homogenous, so it's all mixed up together. The browns create a really nice warm um, heat source so that the bacteria can start to thrive. And the greens provide that nice wet material so you can keep going and it actually will um, get really nice and wet. And then it breaks down and you've got compost. See more of this urban garden in the middle of Charleston, South Carolina.